what's going on you guys big in this one from sports talk and uh, a historic day for canada and also at the same time a horrible day for canada in terms of fifa world cup when it comes to fifa world cup we scored in the second minute alfonso davis uh everyone was hyped i mean i woke up then <laughs> i tuned in i missed that uh, goal but that doesn't really matter that's the only goal canada could score in the world cup so far and canada is already out of the world cup it's it's horrible it's um uh, terrifying is vilifying we actually did much much better than uh, uh, these Croatians I mean I mean yeah, well not in terms of shots or shots and target forget those two in terms of possession we possessed the ball more than them we had more passes than Croatia 472 compared to 442 uh, our pass accuracy is the same as Croatia but our defense just could not hold up uh, they just continued pressing i mean it's you can call it fast break in basketball like you just get the ball and bam you go the other way that's what they were doing and our defense basically just couldn't do anything there they committed more fouls it's the same number of yellow cards for both teams uh, they had more corner i mean in terms of attacking they attacked 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 and that's when canada could not keep up like and the defense broke the midfield was kind of sloppy sloppy and just we just couldn't finish i mean we we just could not like possess the ball enough to score it's, it's sad but it was kind of expected i mean belgium we played very well against belgium belgium had like just one chance and they just bang bang it in and we missed a penalty against belgium remember that too but this time like they just kept pressing and the defense i think after the first goal they're like ah we're gonna win mistake brothers big time mistake croatia was in the World Cup finals last year, final match, bro. They lost to France, but I don't know what where things went wrong because people knew that they would be coming, and uh, the defense just fell apart. The defense just fell apart. I mean, you look at the goals. I mean, you can tell like the de defense just gave up. Like I think for the first twenty minutes, twenty five minutes, Canada played well, and then the the floodgate basically opened. Thirty sixth minute, forty fourth minute, seventieth minute. Oh God. And then even in the extra time someone scored, like that's just pathetic. Oh, who scored this? Lovro Mager uh, it, It's 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 all bad overall. It's a a bad, terrifying performance. Let's just go over our defense here. Laria, Miller, Vittoria, Johnston. They did not. They did not do well. They could not do well. They, these guys just kept coming, and uh, they kind of fell apart. So you see, Laria has been taken out. Uh, Miller got a yellow card. Victoria Johnston survived kind of, but I mean, <laughs> what do you mean when, when, when they score four times on us? That's just not good. And then the attacking, the attackers kind of like fell apart as well. We got David up top and Larin up top. You'll see them here. And uh, they could not produce much. They just had to be <laughs> taken out of the game. The midfield, we got issues here too. So they're taking them out because people got tired. People just couldn't feel it. They were, the rhythm kind of broke. And these guys kept coming. So I think Canada was just not prepared for that fast break kind of attack, the, the counter-attack kind of kind of game. And uh, things just fell apart. The defense was absolutely destroyed. Like, I mean, it's just like, I don't know, they couldn't even find any 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 better defender here. So these, uh, these three guys stayed in. And then the midfield, I mean, you have to have possession in the midfield to give the ball to, the, to your strikers, right? Didn't really happen. Didn't really happen. So this is a huge learning experience for Canada because when you have more passes, more possessions than your opponents, how do you lose the match? That's the question. How? Does that? It doesn't make any sense. You must be messed up somehow to lose against your opponent when you have more passes than them and uh, you possess the ball more often than your opponent. Something is up. Mm, the defense, like I said, fell apart. Midfield was not producing. When when these are the issues, then you have to take a step back and you got to rebuild or like make the players prep for situations like that. I don't know, man. You made the World Cup and you just couldn't handle those fast breaks. Come on, dog. You got to get your shit together and get ready for the 2026 because that's when the World Cup is coming here and you better win win a game, bro. Come on, dog. This is This is not acceptable. This is definitely not acceptable. Davis was the only guy who did something for us, and that the goal key definitely he he did what he what he could. There were times when he had to defend for himself. His defenders were not doing their job basically. So so yeah, man.
step up, step up, get shit done, and at least try to win the next game against Morocco. Morocco's on fire, remember that. Morocco's gonna fuck shit up. At least try to win a game, bro. Come on, let's go.